What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop, and welcome to another video in one of our favorite series on the channel, and that would be facts about every single Pokemon. If you haven't seen a video in this series before, basically what I'm doing is covering one distinct fact about every single Pokemon in a given region, and in this video, we're going to be covering Pokemon from the Hoenn region. Hoenn introduced 135 new Pokemon, which is obviously a lot, so I have split the coverage of the Hoenn decks up into two parts. We covered the first part of the Hoenn decks in last week's video, and today we are going to be covering the second half of the Hoenn decks, which includes 68 total Pokemon. If you haven't seen the first video on my coverage of the Hoenn decks, I definitely recommend you check it out by clicking the iCard at the top right corner of the screen. With that being said though, we've still got a bunch of Pokemon to cover in this video, including Legendaries, Mythicals, Pseudo-Legendary Pokemon, and just a bunch of other regular great Hoenn Pokemon. So with all that being said, why don't we go ahead and just dive right in. Starting things off with Welmer, Welmer is the only Generation 3 Pokemon whose TCG card has dot codes that are capable of being used with the Game Boy Advance e-reader. This allowed the card to be scanned through the e-reader, which allowed you to access certain information about the TCG card, as well as the Pokemon, and even certain mini-games and different things like that. It is very famously known that Welmer's evolution Wellord, who is currently the biggest Pokemon in existence, is capable of mating with Skitty, who is a very, very small Pokemon comparatively. With that being said, Wellord is also capable of mating with a number of other small Pokemon, including Diglett, Lillipup, Spoink, Torchic, and unfortunately, my boy Cyndaquil. So Nummel actually has a gender difference in its design, where the female Nummels actually have a larger hump than the male Nummels. However, Nummel as a Pokemon is actually based on the Dromedary Camel, whose males are actually typically bigger than the females. Its evolution Camerupt actually has a very funny Pokedex entry specified about it in Pokemon X, where it says the volcanoes on its back have a major eruption every 10 years. Or whenever it becomes really angry. You know, just uh, whatever works. Moving on to Torkoal, Torkoal is tied with Slugma, Litwick, and Mega Camerupt for the lowest speed stat of all Fire-type Pokemon, which is rather fitting considering most of these Pokemon are based on stereotypically slow animals. Believe it or not, it's actually possible that Spoink is based on a Bible verse. The Bible verse Matthew 7-6 states, Neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Obviously, the pearl and the swine is the part of the Bible verse we're talking about here, because those two things literally make up Spoink's concept as a Pokemon. With its evolution Grumpig, Grumpig's last move that it learns by level up is Bounce, which is pretty ironic considering that it's had to do that its entire life, even dating back to its pre-evolution as a Spoink, in order to even stay alive, since it's been stated that Spoink has to constantly bounce up and down in order to keep its heart beating. Spinda's base stat total is a not so very good 360, however there might be a reason for this specific base stat total because it could be a reference to the way that Spinda kind of teeters around and walks around in circles thanks to its status as a dizzy Pokemon. Trapinch's attack stat is actually higher than that of its evolution Vibrava, and is the exact same as its fully evolved form Flygon. This is likely a reference to the fact that Trampinch is based on the Antlion, who are known to be more aggressive in their larval stages than they are in their adult stages. This also means that Trampinch has the highest attack stat of any Pokemon that is capable of evolving twice. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, Team Aqua admins Shelly and Matt occasionally use a Vibrava to transport things by air. However, this is actually inconsistent with Vibrava's design in the games, because in the games, it states in the Pokedex that Vibrava's wings haven't fully developed yet, and rather than flying, it uses its wings to generate ultrasonic waves. According to Ken Sugimori in an interview with Nintendo Dream Magazine, Flygon was actually intended to get a mega evolution in Pokemon X and Y, but the idea for this ultimately had to be scrapped because Ken Sugimori was suffering from a case of artist's block at the time. We often see differences between Pokemon's English names and their Japanese names. However, what we don't often see is Pokemon's English names being the combination of their Japanese names along with another adjective or phrase. This is exactly what happens with Cacnea's name, because Cacnea's name is actually the combination of the word cactus and its Japanese name, Sabania. 
According to Cacturn's Sapphire Dex entry, if a traveler is going through a desert in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow in a ragtag group. The Pokemon are biding their time, waiting for the traveler to tire and become incapable of moving. Now, obviously this insinuates a number of different things, including Cacturn basically killing people and possibly even eating them, so uh, I am going to basically steer clear of deserts for the rest of my life. Speaking of comparisons between English and Japanese names, we have a rather funny comparison with Swablu. Swablu's English name comes from the word swab, meaning like a cotton swab, and blue, referring to its blue color. However, its Japanese name Tailto has a much more grandiose inspiration, because it's possible that this name could refer to Tile, which is a star in the constellation of Draco, the dragon, referring to its evolution's dragon type. It may also be a reference to the play Loi Oiso Blue, and I know I pronounced that terribly. The play is about two siblings, Maitil and Taitil, whose goal through throughout the play is to find the blue bird of happiness. Speaking of its evolution Altaria, no other Pokemon has the same type combination as Mega Altaria being a dragon fairy type. With that being said, thanks to this type combination, Mega Altaria is the only fairy type Pokemon that is weak to fairy type moves, and it is the only dragon type Pokemon that is immune to dragon type moves. Zangoose and its counterpart Viper are both part of the field egg group of Pokemon, which means they are capable of breeding with one another, despite the fact that in every single piece of Pokemon media, it has been stated that Zangoose and Viper are sworn enemies to each other. As part of a very famous anime error, Viper was incorrectly referred to as an evolution of Arbok during the Who's That Pokemon commercial break, which is also known as the Pokemon Trainer's Choice during the Hoenn arc of the anime when this occurred. According to Lunatone's Emerald Pokedex entry, it's actually a very, very recently discovered Pokemon, because as it says, it becomes very active on the night of the full moon. This Pokemon was first discovered 40 years ago at the site of a meteor strike. As it pertains to discovering new Pokemon, Lunatone's counterpart Solrock actually has an interesting contradiction in this area, because according to its various Pokedex entries, it is quote-unquote a new species of Pokemon, meaning like Lunatone it was recently discovered. However, in the Pokemon Generations miniseries, it was shown to be a part of the Kalos War, which took place 3,000 years ago, which is obviously not very recent. Moving on to Barboach, Barboach was actually going to be featured in an episode of the anime that was going to take place between Solid as a Sol Rock and Vanity Affair. However, this episode ended up never being aired anywhere in the world due to the Chuetsu earthquakes that occurred in Japan sometime around the original scheduled air date of this episode. One of Wishcash's final moves that it learns by level up is Future Sight, which is likely a reference to its Pokedex entries saying that it can predict earthquakes. Coincidentally, the move it also learns directly after Future Sight is Fisher. So we all know Corphish as a Pokemon that was introduced in the Hoenn Pokedex. However, it says in the Pokedex specifically that while Corphish can be found in Hoenn, it was actually brought over from another region overseas, which means that Corphish, chronologically speaking, is the very first exotic species of Pokemon to be introduced in the Pokemon world. Speaking of that idea, its evolution Crawdon can actually also technically be seen as the very first regional variant Pokemon before Alola forms made this idea cool. The reason why we can say this is because Crawdon practices a very special form of mimicry that is also seen in animals where it mimics the appearance of another strong predator in the area, that being Sharpedo. With that being said, it obviously couldn't do this in the original region it was from because Sharpedo is native to the Hoenn region, meaning that Corphish over time as it adapted to the Hoenn region, developed this form of mimicry as a way to survive in its new environment. Despite the fact that Baltoy is a genderless Pokemon, it is actually specified as male in the game Pokepark Wii Pikachu's Adventure. According to Claydol's Ruby Dex entry, Claydol are said to be dolls of mud made by primitive humans and brought to life by exposure to a mysterious ray. Hmm, now what mysterious rays do we know of in the Pokemon world, particularly ones that occurred around the time of Ruby and Sapphire, or its remakes Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire in Generation 6? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, the ultimate weapon. Uh, turns out that Claydol is very possibly brought to life by exposure to the ultimate weapon, since we know that the ultimate weapon also does very similar things to Megastones and other forms of life. 
No other Pokemon actually has the same type combination as Lily and its evolution Cradley do, that being the Grass Rock type. With that being said, even though this type combination is made up of the two types with the most weaknesses, the Grass Rock type itself as a combo only actually has four weaknesses. Cradley, as well as its pre-evolution Lilip, are also the only Grass-type Pokémon that belong in the Water 3 Pokémon Egg Group. Moving on to the other fossil Pokémon of the Hoenn region, Anorith and its evolution are the only Pokémon that are capable of having the ability Swift Swim that are also weak to the Water type. Its evolution Armaldo is one of a few Pokemon that actually got a figure in the Pokemon Trading Figure Game, which was a game similar to the Pokemon Trading Card Game that used figures instead of cards. However, due to the short run of this game before it was cancelled, the Armaldo figure was actually never released. Feebas's method of evolution is unique in that not only does it need its beauty maxed out in order to evolve into Milotic, which is the only Pokemon that is required to do that sort of thing, it also has multiple methods of evolution given the fact that from Generation 5 onward, beauty as a mechanic wasn't featured or able to be increased in any subsequent Pokemon game. With that being said, even though the beauty feature kind of got dropped from the Pokemon games, it is still possible to evolve Feebas in certain Pokemon games that don't have the contest feature. Because in games such as Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, beauty as a mechanic is still present in the game, it's just a hidden mechanic, and its value is brought up by doing certain things such as grooming your Pokemon with the help of the Haircut Brothers or the help of Daisy Oak. Speaking of which, Milotic is also the only Pokemon that has multiple ways of evolving from its pre-evolved form. Unlike most Pokemon that have some sort of form change, Cast Form's alternate forms don't have any sort of shiny variation, meaning only the normal form of Cast Form will have a shiny difference. According to the Pokedex, Kecleon is able to freely change its body color, with the exception of the red stripe across its belly. Ironically, the red stripe across its belly is about the only thing that actually changes color in its shiny form. If you look a little bit closer at Shuppet's design, it actually appears like Shuppet the Pokemon is actually covered by some sort of grey cloth, meaning that we actually haven't seen what the true form of Shuppet actually looks like. Banette's Japanese name is Geppetto, which is a likely reference to Geppetto, who is the woodcarver who created the famous puppet Pinocchio, who also came to life much like Banette did as a doll. So you might think at first glance that Duskull is based on a skull, or it's possibly even based on the Grim Reaper. However, what you might not know just by looking at Duskull's design is that it's also based on the Boogeyman and this design inspiration is reflected in the Pokedex where it says in Duskull's Heart Gold and Soul Silver Dex entries, if it finds bad children who won't listen to their parents, it will spirit them away, or so it's said. Its evolution Dusclops is a Pokemon that is owned by Butler, who is the main antagonist of the movie Jirachi Wishmaker. Believe it or not, Butler actually makes a cameo appearance in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Butler can be found on Route 229 along with his girlfriend Diane as a pair of ace trainers. However, this cameo appearance was actually not caught by the English translation team, who ended up naming the couple Felix and Dana instead. According to Tropius's Diamond and Pearl Dex entry, because it continually ate only its favorite fruit, the fruit started growing around its neck. Come to think of it, this kind of sounds like the thing that parents tell their kids where if they eat a watermelon seed or something like that, that a watermelon is actually going to grow in their stomach. Ah, good times. Excluding glitch Pokemon and the unknown forms, Chimeco's index number in the Generation 3 games is actually the very last index number that is seen, which likely means that Chimeco was a very, very late inclusion into the Hoenn Pokedex. Absol is a Pokemon that is known to appear in areas where a disaster is soon to occur, and this is actually held up by its in-game locations where you can actually find it. For example, Absol in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl appears on Route 13, which is close to Lake Valor which was drained by Team Galactic. In Platinum, Absol appears on Mount Coronet in areas on your way up to the Spear Pillar right before Giratina is released by Team Galactic. In Black and White, Absol can be found in the Giant Chasm which is a place where disasters are said to have occurred and where the meteor that contained Qrem struck the Earth. And in Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Absol can be found in and around the Tapu Village, which was destroyed several years earlier by Tapu Bulu. 
In the Generation 3 games, Why Not is the only baby Pokemon that can be found in the wild in the games, located on Mirage Island. Coincidentally, in Generation 4, Why Not is also the only Pokemon that cannot be found in the wild. In Snowrun's Platinum Dex entry, it seems to reference a specific group of people in Japanese folklore known as the Korupoke Guru. These were a race of very small people that were said to live under the leaves of plants in harmony. Coincidentally, the location where this piece of folklore originates is in Hokkaido, which is the place in Japan on which Sinnoh is based, where of course, Pokemon Platinum takes place. Up next is Sfeel, who is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. However, that is not the fact because I've got something much more interesting to share about this spherical boy. The reason why this is interesting is because there's a couple other blue Hoenn Pokemon whose shiny forms are also pink, that being the Mudkip line and the Whelmer line. Its evolution Celio is actually based on an earless seal, but oddly enough, is named after a sea lion. According to the Pokedex, Walrein's two massively developed tusks can totally shatter blocks of ice, weighing 10 tons with one blow. In case you didn't know, 10 tons also equals 20,000 pounds, and I'll put the kilogram equivalent on screen because I don't know what that is, but either way, that's a heckin' ton of ice. When it comes to Clampearl, according to the Pokedex, another Pokemon we previously discussed, Spoink, actually gets its pearl on its head from Clampearl specifically. It's actually possible that one of Clampearl's evolutions, Huntail, was actually originally intended for Generation 2, because in the Gold and Silver beta demo, there is an unreleased Pokemon that bears a striking resemblance to Huntail. And not only that, this Pokemon also evolves from another Pokemon that bears a striking resemblance to another Generation 3 Pokemon, that being Sharpedo. Its counterpart, Gorobis, actually has a pretty morbid name in English, coming from the words gore as in violence and abyss. However, this is kind of funny considering some of its other international names actually have much more pleasant origins, such as its Japanese name, Sakurabis, which comes from Sakura, which means cherry blossom, and then there's also the French name, Rosabis, which comes from the word rose and abyss, so the English-speaking people definitely got the dark side of Gorobis here. The Pokemon Relicanth actually shares many similarities with fossil Pokemon in the sense that it's part rock type, it has a gender ratio of 7 males to 1 female, and it is referred to as an ancient Pokemon. With that being said, this is very fitting because Relicanth is actually based on the Colacanth, which is a fish that was thought to previously be extinct. Even though Love Disk is a generally hated Pokemon, its shiny coloration actually has a pretty cool possible origin, because its shiny being a gold color is very, very possibly based on the concept of a heart of gold. Now, Bagon is a Pokemon that is known to have a very tough and hard skull. With that being said, Bagon actually gave itself this skull through years and years of evolution through trying to fly by jumping off cliffs and inevitably falling to the ground and gravely injuring itself. Ouch. Its evolution Shelgon, despite being a pure dragon type, can only learn two dragon type moves by level up, and only one by TM, and the one that it learns by TM is Dragon Claw, which is one of the moves that it learns by level up. Shelgon's evolution Salamence actually shares its species category with the Horsey family, the Dratini family, and Gudra, who are all known as the Dragon Pokemon. With that being said, most if not all of these Pokemon actually have non-dragon inspirations because Horsey and its family are based on seahorses, Dratini and Dragonair are at least partially based or at least resemble snakes, and Gudra is partially based on a snail. Meanwhile, Salamence, even though it very much looks like a traditional dragon, is also based on a salamander. The Pokemon Beldum, along with its evolutions Matang and Metagross, are the only non-legendary Pokemon that have a catch rate of 3, which is the lowest catch rate in existence. According to the Pokedex, Matang actually has two brains, because it states that, with its two brains, it fires powerful psychic energy to stop its prey in their tracks. Metagross actually has a very interesting origin to part of its name, because the gross in Metagross actually refers to the word gross, or rather the term gross that is used to describe something that is a dozen of a dozen, or 12 by 12. This is also why Metagross's weight is 1212 pounds. 
Diamonds. In Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, there is actually an unobtainable Regirock doll that was intended for use with the secret base that is programmed into the games that possibly was intended to be obtained with the e-reader. Ironically, Regice being an Ice-type Pokemon and Ice-types being known as Brittle Pokemon defensively actually has the highest base special defense stat of all legendary Pokemon. It also has the highest base special defense stat of all Ice-type Pokemon and is tied with Regirock for the highest single base stat of any legendary Pokemon with its 200 special defense. In a bit of significant controversy, Registeel's sprite in some European versions of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl actually had to be changed because its pose originally heavily resembled that of a Nazi salute. In the Random Facts category, Latios actually shares the exact same weight as Alolan Santru, Clefable, Girder, Greninja, Ash Greninja, Minior, and none other than Ethan, the protagonist of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Latios, or rather Mega Latios, and Mega Latios as well, have a purple coloration, and this likely comes from the fact that regular Latios as well as regular Latios have blue and red colorations that, when put together, form the color purple. For our fact on Kyogre, in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, if you have a Kyogre that knows the move Surf, it will actually allow you to travel more quickly on water than with any other Pokemon. On top of that, if you have a Kyogre that knows the move Dive, this will actually allow the player to avoid any underwater trainer battles. According to the Pokedex, Groudon is able to counteract Kyogre because it has the power to scatter rain clouds and make water evaporate with light and heat. With that being said, Groudon has been given no such ability in any of the main series games, which it could desperately use considering that it's actually weak to the Pokemon Kyogre in its regular form, and in its primal form, it's actually quad weak to Kyogre being a ground fire type. The master of this legendary duo is of course Rayquaza, and according to the Pokedex, Rayquaza is actually hundreds of millions of years old. The mythical Pokemon Jirachi actually has the honor of being the very first Pokemon that was distributed over Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Previous to this, only event items that you used to get the Pokemon in-game were distributed over Wi-Fi. And finally, if you thought Deoxys was menacing or intimidating, think again because attack form Deoxys actually has the lowest base special defense of all Pokemon, tied with the likes of Magikarp, Carvana, Igglybuff, Caterpie, and Weedle. And there we have it everybody, another Pokemon region down, and I gotta tell you what, I am pretty exhausted. These Pokemon regional fact videos take a ton of work, but I'm also having a lot of fun with them, and I love that you guys are enjoying them as well, so thank you so much for watching them. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and let me know in the comments below which of these facts was your favorite and what you're looking forward to with the next Pokemon video in this series, which is going to be, of course, covering the Sinnoh region. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, including my upcoming Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Let's Play, which I'm really excited for because it's my first Let's Play. We're gonna try that out on the channel, so I hope it goes well, and I really hope you guys show up for that as well. Finally, I just want to recommend my Spotify really quick because it's full of Pokemon remixes that you can listen to anywhere while you're out and about, and I would really appreciate a follow just because I'm trying to grow that as much as I can, and we've come so far already, so I really, really want to thank you guys for that as well. With all that being said though, I'll be back on Tuesday for another video, so hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as it goes live, and with all that being said, I love you guys as always, and until the next one, I will smell you guys later.